South Africa remained the strong favourites to be awarded the 2023 Rugby World Cup on Wednesday but there is growing concern that a failure to fully engage in behind-the-scenes lobbying may have opened the door for Ireland or France. After two weeks of rancor and recrimination from Ireland and France following World Rugby's evaluation report and subsequent recommendation in favour of South Africa, the Council of the Sports Governing Body will make its decision in London in a secret ballot 39 votes are cast, a simple majority of 20 is required for victory. World Rugby is anxious that its council members endorse its recommendation, designed to eliminate the kind of horse trading that has been rife in the past, but rather than admitting defeat, France and Ireland both stepped onto the offensive, leading to claim and counterclaim over the accuracy of the 139-page report. South Africa's best chance of victory is to reach the required 20 votes in the first round. If they do not obtain the necessary majority however, and are pitted in a two-horse race with Ireland, there are growing fears of defeat. Insiders believe that the South Africa Rugby Union chief executive, Jury Roo, was wrong to urge France and Ireland to withdraw from the race following World Rugby's recommendation. Their concern is that Roo was perceived as arrogant and gave France and Ireland carte blanche to go on to the attack. The chief executive of the Ireland Union, Philip Brown, went as far as to write a letter to World Rugby outlining his grievances with the report. On Friday it was greeted with a terse response from World Rugby, who consider the matter closed, but one insider has predicted Ireland will gain at least 19 votes in a two-horse race with South Africa on the back of extensive lobbying with countries such as the USA and Germany, both of whom are looking to join the Pro 14, which is headquartered in Dublin. It is understood Rue has recently been canvassing for South American support but there are fears that he has not done enough lobbying, instead placing too much faith in a perceived obligation among council members to follow the recommendation. England's reported decision to back Ireland is not surprising after Theresa May gave her official backing in September but it will only worsen South Africa's fears. The RFU maintained that it was always going to carry out its own due diligence after England staged the World Cup in 2015, but if its three votes did go to Ireland, it can hardly be seen as an endorsement of World Rugby's recommendation considering the governing body's chairman, Bill Beaumont, is a former England captain and RFU chairman. It is the first time that World Rugby has commissioned and made public a report such as this and there is therefore no precedent for whether council members rubber stamp South Africa as 2023 hosts, or vote according to other criteria. It will be of great embarrassment to World Rugby should Ireland or France prevail however, considering this process was adopted in the interests of transparency. France, meanwhile, have thrown caution to the wind in their attempts to invalid World Rugby's report, described by their federation's president, Bernard Laporte, as nonsense. Laporte has been leading the last-minute charm offensive in recent days and France's greatest hope is their financial strength. The bid leader, Claude Atcher, promised in September that a France victory would prevent the death of World Rugby with its financial muscle and pledged to stop the player drain from the Southern Hemisphere to the top 14. Both New Zealand and Australia, however, are expected to back South Africa.